Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of GIS Answers. Today what we'll be looking at is the flood alert areas for the United Kingdom. If you like the video and enjoy these videos, please subscribe to the channel. So this is ArcGIS Pro and it's a software from Esri. If you're interested in getting this software for personal use, or perhaps you're a student or retired or you're just interested in mapping in GIS, uh, you can access this software for $100 a year and we have a video on how to, to uh, get access to that. So anyway, in order to, to uh, load this flood alert areas into ArcGIS Pro, what you do, you go click on the map ribbon and then add data and then go to the living atlas and you can type in floods of UK and that data will come in and you can add that. And I've already added that into the table of contents. Right now I have the streets at night base map and I loaded in the flood alert areas and this is in a national UK national grid projection, which is Mercator projection. And so then the base map adjusted to match that uh, projection. So I've got it in pink right now, the data. As you zoom in, you get a lot more detail. So really we want to change the appearance of this pink polygons, maybe increase the transparency. And maybe let's chase, change the base map to imagery with a hybrid, which includes labels. Let's have a look at that. Maybe I can increase the transparency again. So I click on the layer, the flood layer, and then the appearance and then transparency. Maybe crank it up even more. Maybe we can change the outline. Changing the outline of the polygon. Maybe instead of a pink, we'll change that to maybe a green. Again, that's, I know some people don't believe it, but the United Kingdom does have a lot of green space. Let's uh, change that color. Let's make it uh, a yellow or something like that. There's a yellow. Okay, so you can actually see these flood prone areas all through mapped throughout the UK mapped by the environment agency and the ordnance survey this data is copyright to both of those agencies and it's fully interactive this is being streamed through through Esri uh, ArcGIS online the living atlas so if you click on a polygon uh, this is uh, the groundwater flooding in the west of Dorset. It's groundwater. And there's a quick dial number, so this must be some kind of emergency number that you can either dial and report, or maybe perhaps dial and get an update on the situation. They've, they've had so much flooding in the United Kingdom over the years that I guess this layer is, has been built, has been created uh, to reflect those areas of concern. So going along the south coast, so we looked at Devon down by Weymouth. And now we're looking at the Isle of Wight, Southampton, right in here. This is the Hamble River, I believe, if we click on that. So it's Hampshire, Southampton, Solent, and South Downs. Yes, and the target area is South ha Southampton Water and the Hamble. So the Hamble River Again, part of the Hamble River. In and around Warsash. So fully interactive and quite fast. This is being streamed through the web. And you can see the level of detail throughout the United Kingdom. Rivers that have been mapped, groundwater areas, 
floodplains along coast wetlands the Essex coast south end on sea this is a huge area right by Peterborough in and around Boston Tidal flooding from the Wash and the Tidal Estuaries, Cambridgeshire, Lincolnshire, and Peterborough. A huge area. Up and around Newcastle, not a lot up there. Whitley Bay in Newcastle, but in and around Middlesbrough. A fair amount of uh, potential flooded flooding, potential flooding in the city. Tidal River Tees, River Tees. Obviously, they wouldn't get much flooding in the uh, moors in the northern part of the UK. But here's one uh, that goes along. Not Nottingham and uh, Burton on Trent and Derby. So that's the River Trent, a very famous river in Trent in uh, England, all the way over to Lichfield, Sutton Coalfield, and down into Birmingham. Let's have a look at the southwest again. We looked at and down in down towards um, Weymouth. What about over in Bristol, south of Bristol, Western Supermare? Huge area between Western Supermare and, and Bristol, the Somerset coast, including Minehead, Bridgewater, Burnham on Sea, Upton to Kingston Seymour. That's in and around where uh, I was born and and uh, lived there for a little bit. A huge area south of that. Then north of Yeovil. Looks like the similar River, Ye river Yeo, just north of Yeovil. So anyway, hopefully you enjoyed this video and having a look at this data. Um, obviously a lot of work has been put into this data by these uh, two agencies and this is available in the Living Atlas uh, for you to look at. It is copyright to both the, those agencies that I mentioned before, uh, the Environment Agency and the Ordnance Survey of the UK. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, please subscribe to the channel and we'll see you again. Thanks.